can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Montgomery. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. And it'll be the 20-yard yeah. line. A gain of a yard. It's now fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. The kick by Carlson is good. And that'll bring him back within a point. Makes this Washington 17, Bears 16. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. At their own 25-yard line. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Nine-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. They run it with Ward. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Washington on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be third and five. Brings up Back to throw here. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. The and they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. It'll be a 41-yard punt. Give them five on the return. The Bears take over first. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Forced out to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Lewis on the tackle. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and from the gun. Levy. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And at the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Third down. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And Robinson with a big catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. That is incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. It leads to second and 10. 
to throw again. Levy, and he finds Montgomery complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 34-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarter. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And now nothing but green ahead of him. And he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for a Washington touchdown. Touchdown, Washington. Well, partner, I do know this. If you're a defensive back, you have more chances to make a team now than ever because people are using five defensive backs, six defensive back packages. Not exclusively, but way more than before. That was a nickel package there, and what a pickoff. Why is that? Why are they using that more? Because more people are throwing the ball on earlier downs than ever before. This has become a passing league, and because of that, more defensive backs on the field on most plays. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. And what would you say? Is it the offensive line that has caused a lot of this pressure to get back there? That's always the first place that you have to look to see what's going on. But part of it is, it is so difficult to simulate this type of pass rush in practice because the speed, the ferocity, the quickness, some of the change-ups and, and, and how they get at the quarterback that you may not have seen on film. All that is different. You can practice it as much as you want to. You can even insert smaller, faster guys at positions to show that the speed's going to be quicker. But until the whistle blows and you play for real, it's just not the same. And not as easy to implement on game day. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. It's a game of three. First Operating from the gun. Levy. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A very solid gain of 27. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged, because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him, and he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. From the gun, Levy on the move to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. First and 10, Levy, and he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Throwing again, Levy, and he's got it complete to Anderson. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Operating from the gun, Levy steps away. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. 
Montez Sweat. It's his 20th sack of the season as he continues what could be a record-setting campaign. Brandon never ceases to amaze me just how fast these defensive ends are in the game nowadays. Part of that is what we've seen in college football where they've gotten smaller and faster on the defensive side of the ball, but they brought that to the NFL because it is hard for an offensive lineman to keep them away from the quarterback. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. The kick by Carlson is good. And that'll get the lead down to five. Washington 24, Bears 19. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That one is slant to McLaurin. 11 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third and inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They'll look to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. 47 is the mic. 47 is the mic. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Mike, 47. Throwing on first down. Levy. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now Montgomery. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. 24. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Brings up second and ten. To throw again. Levy firing quickly here, and that's complete. Levy's pass. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. On third and two, Levy out to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Opted to run for it, the decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Kept it in his hands and tried to push it across the goal line himself, but the defensive front wouldn't allow him to do so. Bringing up second down and a bit farther. From back 
at the four. Here's second and goal. From the gun, Levy to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. But now it's third and goal. Third down and goal from the four. Looking to throw. Levy looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. They go for it on fourth and goal, but that winds up incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And Washington is able to come up with a goal line stand. So the failure to convert no doubt really hurts, but this one's not over. A good chunk of time on the clock and the timeouts. Yeah, not only do they have the timeouts, as you just noted, they're going to get an extra one with the two-minute warning. And that's going to help them big way. So in a sense, they have four timeouts in their pocket. The big thing, stopping them on defense now. They can't let them get a first down and make them use their timeouts and get a fresh set of downs. They've got to stop them right here. And if so, they've still got an opportunity. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Gordon. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Now a 20th carry, number 20 here for Melvin Gordon. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they will take a knee here. They'll try and grind some clock with Gordon. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. He was brought down at the 28-yard line. A gain of a yard makes it third and 11. Washington about to close this one out as they are down to a knee. There's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for Washington, they just keep on rolling as they move to nine and two with a win here. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for Chicago, we'll see how this affects their playoff standing as they fall to seven and four now on the year. And they'll try to rebound next week as they head to Glendale to take on the Cardinals. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.
She right got me. If one to be so you gotta yeah. go berserk. Okay. Mm. Sometimes you need a friend. Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, huh, sometimes you need a foe. Want to keep your eyes open, keep you on your toes. You know the ones that want to keep you where you've been before. But I can't go. No, I can't go. And whoa, huh, sometimes I need a check. Not the sneakers, but the ones that make you watch your step. You know, I sat down with my accountant, he said, I got good news and I got bad news. Okay. I said, what's the good news? He said, the good news is you made a lot. Okay. I said, what's the bad news? The bad news is you spent more. Okay. okay. Look, sometimes you need the faith. Sometimes you need to know you or sometimes you need to wait. Shoot like the golden boy, but in front of bay. You can't negotiate with Dre. You gon' have to pay for way. Jugging on the main stage, the main frame. Loosen up your face, baby. Sometimes I need to vacate, meditate, hydrate, protect my energy uh, before engagement. Grew up having nothing, you're labeled impatient. Huh. But once the boss made it, you're labeled amazing. Meticulous with words, such a force of nature. Boss. I don't want to seem absurd, but that boy's a gangster. Fo focusing on me, way from Tel Aviv. Barbados with the hustle pockets, LRDs. Distinctive destinations, all I want to see. Ocean from residence is three different ones a week. Cause I deserve that, it's time to learn that Mess around and put that thing up where you're permit Six figures every year, yeah, I earn that At the front of this line is where my turn at Sometimes you need a friend Not the ones that just 